complaining for months about Rob, and it's like, I don't know what to do against Rob. So, yeah. she's on the other foot now, because okay. numbers, because Zamba's like, I don't know what to do about Wii Fit, but either way, Diddy Kong, and you know what? This makes a little bit of sense, because not only does, is Diddy Kong able to abuse the fact that ben Bananas Transcendence can uh, blow through Spin Dash, but also is an incredibly viable neutral character to overcome a lot of the more awkward mid tiers that uh, that cover a lot of New York in all in the yeah. in entire variety of the player skill base. Now that being said, I know that Numbers definitely has the ability to use Banana for himself. He is, his item play is incredible. He is, in my opinion, the best casual Smash player in the world. So I agree. Look <laughs> right then and there reads the monkey flip. Banana two F Smash. All of a sudden, Numbers looking real good, and we might now see how well JDB can deal with uh, kind of the, if, if he's never played against Numbers, he is a terrifying unknown. Oh. But I feel like Numbers is just, he's going through some some classics while he's unsure of what JDB is going to be doing at any given moment. That's stuff you can figure out over a long set on top of just classic Wii Fit stuff that hey, JDB might not be exposed to. I'm not, I mean, there's plenty of Wii Fits, but all of them are, wow, all of them are extremely good. If he's able to overcome players uh, like Kamex, then he can certainly overcome players in, at any deficit like this, because this could be a ton of damage. 21 and the oh, oh my god he's maybe dead oh but a great angling on that up he keeps him out of the out of the danger zone that being said yeah so you know banana is transcendent but does question does banana yep. eat through sun salutation uh if thrown i believe i believe so, it would train if thrown okay it would trade uh, but if you're numbers, if you're releasing a full sun salutation, you do get a little bit of healing, which could, you know, it's relevant. Okay. Numbers at 68, though. JDV at 107 means that JDV has to be pretty worried about dying right here. Oh, my God. Deep breathing, not really been a factor for a lot of it this. It went super deep. I wonder if JDV didn't, just didn't realize he didn't have a jump, but that was a very, very low barrels to go for. And we are seeing a little bit of unfamiliarity. Perhaps he's not, he doesn't really know what to do when Numbers opts to go to the ledge. And, and these just Randy Uppies back into center have really been working. John's been hit for by both of them. It's, Down I mean, it, I feel like the Randy Uppies is also a decent answer to something like the uh, the medicine or the, the soccer ball. You know, we fit side B. Because he would hit it and then it would just start going off on its own and who knows what would happen. Then. It's interesting to see how JDV. Uh, augments their banana pulls pretty frequently. Oftentimes, throwing it down in order to make sure that the banana despawns, which makes a lot of sense given that John has proven that, yeah, he knows just as well how to utilize this item as JDV does. So yeah. he wants to make sure it's always in his hands and his hands alone. Ooh, some nice damage and deep breathing. It's about to expire here, so Numbers is going to lose some access to that kill power. Nonetheless, F-Tilt at the ledge. Oh my god. Again, that's a lot of rage on this Diddy Kong as well. Some of these down tilt conversions are going to be hitting a lot harder. But the banana throw and the roll read on top of it. Colleen stuff from numbers who it seems so tempting just to go for a quick punish. But the discipline on, on realizing that he had him in a uh, tech chase situation. All he had to do was react. and Or even if he didn't react appropriately, he took center. Yeah, and oh, this was so good. Also, if we can, if we have time, just to go back a little bit here. Um, oh, no, I think we're getting right into this next game. Okay. So, uh, anyway, moving into game two, what adjustments do you think? Because it looks like Numbers knows what he needs to do in the matchup, and is the fact he would just grab an end and then keep it to prevent, you know, legal shenanigans from happening. What adjustments do you think need to happen uh, from JDB? JDB. Um got to be careful with some of those because while they work uh, surprisingly frequently, you cannot be reliant on barrels to get so much damage for you. But JDV was playing an even game at the end of that last set. So just maybe not so much changes, but a refinement of how he realized he can abuse John in disadvantage, which oftentimes revolves around things, oh. cheeky traps like that, throwing the banana up and finding actual reward off of it but also a mixture of monkey flip and, and going for things like monkey flip kick and not just exclusively the grab. You're seeing the timing on these down tilts? Nice. He's actually interrupting num numbers' alleged shenanigans. 
And look, 111%. Pretty much all this has just been from the ledge. I think Sun went, they just went through each other right there, correct? Uh, Sun and the, and the I banana. I wasn't sure if the banana if the banana was already uh, past the sun salutation or not. I'm not sure. But y that may be the crucial thing. They just pass straight through. I guess transcendence would imply that. But wait, that doesn't work with Oris here, though. I don't know. <laughs> Ooh, Numbers grabbing the banana. Ends up dropping it, but in the process, manages to avoid a much bigger combo that JDB could have unleashed on him yeah, once okay. again. Yeah. Or maybe sun salutation's a little higher? This is... Ah, banana is so weird, but also yeah. that F toe at ledge, catching the jump, able to close out for numbers and keep this game very even. I love that little beat of a delay, that just the slight hesitation to on the banana grab, then instant toss. It's just a little shakeup. Always trying to change up tempo and always trying to find new ways to win neutral. Oh boy! Did that bounce off the volleyball? By the way, I I think it did actually. Just the way he's abusing numbers own tools against him, no invincibility, but it's kind of hard for him to actually punish that. That's one of the benefits of Wii Fit at ledge. Look at this! The walk backwards too. Like it's all just hard dash in, hard commit, and then pull back slowly. Numbers has been at ledge, and it looks like it's been involuntary this time. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, look how much damage he's taking. He's at 90. He is dead. Another one of those banana app smashes actually taking the stock this time. And Numbers is looking like he is in a bad way right now. Only 33% on JDV. And it feels like he's just figured it out. If Numbers is uncomfortable at the ledge, what else does he have? The answer is actually his neutral is still very good. And he can probably operate on stage is what I'm seeing him do now. Oh, but that air dodge getting punished and covered. But the rapid, uh, the gentleman jab from Numbers is able to halt Diddy in his tracks. That's so huge. Reading the monkey flip with a massive spike on the side B. Absolutely a, exactly what Numbers needed to not let JDB just start controlling stage and controlling so much space. Oh my god, that's just so much damage. Deep Breathing Sun is so powerful. And now with that banana in hand, let's see if he can actually do anything with it. Deep Breathing managing to get a little bit extra damage there, meaning Numbers now is in the lead. He's not just in the lead. Oh my god, how, the, how was, quick. That was he didn't get touched. I'm pretty sure that was a zero to death type. Keep those Ridiculous. In. Numbers realized one, one singular habit. He's like, oh, you like to monkey flip early. We saw it in the second stock, and we see it right here. A little bit hit stun, but he wants also, to... Also, okay, Hitbox. <laughs> you do you. What? <laughs> Let's advance this frame by frame here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, no. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, that's that downer is going to hit. Yeah. Of course that downer is going to hit. Confusion. Oh, I, I mean, it's. I mean, it's the it's the pelvic thrust of doom. Smash <laughs> ultra. What the fuck's a hitbox? <laughs> all right, game three, and that is a lot of data that John just exploited all at once. But it's yeah. also. I mean, we say it. I'll say it again. It's not. We're seeing it. It's not a best of three. So this gives JDV time to adapt to something that he was twice hard punished for. Oh my god, speaking of habits getting punished, Ooh. he's at 84, he's off stage, he might die outright. Oh man, it felt like he figured out what he needed to do and then Numbers just figured it out right back. Oh, are you going to die from this? Not quite, but still, that's 155. Yeah, just oh boy. ping pong him back and forth. Gets the dash throw off the banana, it's still a decent punish. Looking for the banana pull. Okay, that's... I All mean, right. this, is, this is where JDV got a lot of mileage in the previous game. Just keep forcing numbers on, back onto ledge and keep finding ways to connect their banana. But it's God, I love the fact that banana is like one of the best projectiles in the game, and Peanut is one of the worst. He, he, he gone. Wow. Okay. I think that nice uh, middle hitbox on yeah. the forward air as the sun salutation passes straight through the stage. <laughs> And oh, at this point, I mean, nice even though, the numbers. yeah, even though JDV took a really hard loss early on with like eating 150, managing to keep things pretty even. This is similar to what we saw earlier, where numbers on the ledge is actually having a really rough time of it. Finally, oh, oh, boo boo! 
I yeah. mean, that's that's kind of, I think, what he was going for with those upbees. If Numbers decides to throw out a projectile, the consequences could be dire. <gasps> the wind box! Oh, that's so cute. This character is so... We fit's a weird character. <laughs> just awkward in how little things make while it I mean, makes for it, it's just such unique interaction. It's just a science fact. The sun causes wind. Oh my god, are you dead? With that Z-drop banana? Absolutely. Just oh. numbers knows. He knows that he... I mean, from playing up so much of Diddy Kong in prior games, especially given practice against Dill's own Diddy Kong in Smash 4, you kind of realize that Diddy, while very different, counterplay to banana is still the same. Ooh. These air dodges have been uh, pretty interesting to say the least. Is now 216, still surviving because of the deep breathing. Yeah, also, this is. That, you took that stock? Well, good for him. But look at the stock count. There's still another <laughs> yeah. one. There are two more he has to he has to chew through before he can actually move on to a uh, to just staying alive in the winner's bracket. You know, after getting a really nice upset against Kamex, you don't want to go down like to, to a 3-0 against Numbers. But that's looking like what Numbers is trying to make happen right now. This could be big. Down tilt will be enough. There is the set. That was just. John has the weirdest fist bumps, by the way. But <laughs> what, what? John has the weirdest fist bumps. But regardless, that was just so well controlled by John. After game two, realizing that a lot, JDB had to go through a lot of mix-ups in order to get the lead that he did. John realized one thing, one crucial thing about the. Why is his arms like that? One crucial <laughs> things about this uh, JDB's He's trying to disadvantage. Fist bump the guy behind him also. <laughs> Just, it's option coverage. It's <laughs> yeah. Wii Fit F tilt. <laughs> Just goes in front and behind. Oh my God! When's the Wii? When's the uh, the Wii Fit stream? <laughs> Competitive Wii Fit. Whose BMI is lower after it? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, that was numbers, and that was a great block here at Xeno Saga. Glad to be casting with you again, my Oh, friend. yeah, no, it's always a fantastic pleasure. And, guys, seriously, follow this man on Twitter. That is at UBL Soul. S-O-U-L. S-O-U-L. Uh, the good kind of soul. Uh, <laughs> Not the sun, I guess. The, uh, yeah, bad. Sun's bad. Give you Shout out to Salty Fun at all, all Salty Fun underscore SSB as we are going to be going to a quick caster swap. So don't touch that dial. More Smash action via Xeno Saga is coming your way right after this.